I wrote her to Oaks on his way. She goes, well, I came here, I turned around, I saw him way over there, says, I'm going to drive around yeah. the, the other side. What is there? Well, and these guys have um, done a ton of volunteer work at the Oh, cool. Parks. Okay. Get a life jacket. Oh, no one can come out without a life jacket. Nobody comes out without a life jacket. How deep was the ice by the ice screw? Two, maybe three inches. The ice screw went through okay. the ice. Did it. Gotta come up with plan B, which is be more aggressive. Mm. Ah, what a shame. The problem is, now when I'm sitting on the edge, right, I'm pushing the edge down just a little weight. I'm sitting in this much water. Every crack I feel like keeps dropping a little more, so I'm either gonna lose that ice bed. I had the net out in the water underneath. You know what I finally calm down and swim, but it wouldn't say about two to three feet from the end of the net. Then I was hoping to swim over the top of it. And then I flinch at it and let it dive into it. Did it ever come to your side? Never? Yeah, I got that ice screw out. Pulled it up and it bit. And came out, but where we set up the uh, the station to work out of, ice was only about that thick. <laughs> Good bob on the ice. We just need two tenders tomorrow. Then we'll get them both into the of the hole with that net.
line right there okay we're gonna anchor it back here and we're gonna pull the sled out on the other side halfway kind of like where we were yesterday yep, yep. and then Gary's gonna be our tender for Bob and I okay and you guys are the back anchor and he's gonna work off the sled here okay and we can two line ourselves out so Gary's gonna tend both of us you're gonna go out in a V yeah we'll go out in a V and Gary will tend off of the sled and you guys are the backup back here. Yeah, yeah. So if he needs to get pulled back or something, so we're going to put an anchor here. And you guys are just the tender for the slope. The there you go, he's the tender tender. We're the tender tender. We're the tender tender. The tender, tender. There's probably a method to this madness, but... There isn't. Okay. could take the pontoon boat and just stick it in the water. And net it, you know. Got it. Collapse the net. Got it. Now we're good. Yeah, I said you get far enough out there. That's good. I hear my kids look at the hole though. I can hear the shelf crack. I've got an ice pick tangled in the middle. It's mostly on your side. <laughs> I can get a jail. Oh, 
Well, I'm going to give it to one of you guys. Bring it over here to the orange, to the gold. Right there. Let's get this dealt with. Clear off that gold thing and we'll put the kennel on that. Yeah. Work on the mat here. Except there's a... And then we'll start working the... Yeah, thanks. Okay. Casey, did you bring scissors? You okay, Bob? I'm fine. Okay. Feet are starting to move a little bit. Okay, take your right hand and pull it away a little bit. Okay, now put that. Now get the head. You, you use your other hand if you need it. You got the head? Yep, I got the head. I'm going to try to pull this net under your hand. There you go. Oh, got your thumb. Good job. Good job here. This this side here, John. John. Yeah. Let's the shoulder. Yep. Okay, we just got one feather here. Okay, the net's clear. Okay. Oh, he's awesome. I don't know if that would do it. That's why I brought it. That's what, that's what I do with turkeys. I just okay. put them in some place dark and they will find them. Let's put some for a second. That's how you do it. I see. Okay. Okay, lift your hand, Gail. Yep. Your left hand. Yep. Okay. Hopefully that will come down. Good. Is it still on? Yep. Okay. We have towels underneath it too. She's, she's on the other phone. I'm sure she. Oh. you can bring it to Carrie, right? Yeah. Or, so or, or to Beth. Which? At, which okay, she's on the other line, so I got it covered. Thanks, Chris. We'll let you know what goes on. Okay, bye. I'm gonna just put Gail on. So, um, so have you seen the? John's gonna look at the bird yeah, carefully, and then. The radius and the ulna are good, it's just that joint right there. Get it? Oh, yeah. Stop, stop. Stay. Cover your eyes. Cover your eyes. Have you taught us at State Command already? Okay. That was impressive. Do you want a picture of it? Yeah, that's, this is good. It's a bump. Yeah. 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 We could look underneath that one and compare yeah. those two. Um, we might let the vet do that. Okay. Let's see what it looks like underneath us. Okay. Yeah. I'll do x-rays so they can... Okay, can they do that? You look at me. Okay. You're going to be good. We're just trying to help you out. I don't think they have a bird in it. <laughs> Hello. This is not a cat. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave and come back if you want. It's a loon. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. Loon is here. What do we got under there? Uh, juvenile common loon. Oh, really? Yeah. Where'd it come from? Yeah, it's pretty warm. You said it's just right here? Oh, it's very warm. Warm feet, trying to cool it off. Okay. And what was she doing with the wing? Is there a wound on it somewhere? Yeah, underneath. That's underneath. There we go. There you go, little buddy. Um, 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Right there. Well, let's get an x ray of this, okay? Let's see. Yeah, take your head for a second. Yeah. yeah. Proper set up the machine, we'll get an x ray of it and see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Puncture and a lot of scratches, but luckily. You guys want to look at this? Chin shot or anything? There are no broken bones. There's the, here's the elbow here. There's some definitely some soft tissue swelling here. Well, Eagle could have grabbed it. Yeah, something. They're punctured or did something. But there are no. So it's just sore. Yeah. Very sore. So mm -hmm. recoverable. Oh, I think so. Oh, good. Yeah, no, there's the wrist is fine, the elbow's fine. Uh -huh. There's not enough damage there that I think it would have been shot, but you can tell where it's bruised right there. And I think you're right, I think a needle may have gotten it that's somehow. What, that's what the wounds, because, well, I mean, every, you know. I mean, that's what Tracy said, the needles are grassy when these wounds are. Yeah, right. I don't think there's anything to do about it. I think it just yeah. is what it is. It is what it is. And it, you know, like you say, if you can, is. you know, if you get it on flathead lake, you know, provide a flathead lake doesn't freeze over, yeah. I think it probably ought to be, well, ought to be fine. You just have a nice day. Let well, me know if I can ever help you. We're always yeah. happy to take care of wildlife. Well, thank you okay. so much. Yeah, yeah. I, I really appreciate that. Thanks, Dennis. All right, take care. You too. To climb up. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's the bad wings. The fattest part. Keep going down a little further. Sure. Yeah, try that. Okay. That'll slide off. Nope. Okay. Twenty-six point eight. And the other one was a twenty-six point eight. So we got a yellow, yellow, both 26.8. 3.1 kilograms. Let's see if we fall through, we fall through big. Yeah. He's trying to break it. Is it broken? It'll survive this and it can go in the water. The question so, in my mind is which one is more I dangerous, trapping grizzly bears or going out on the ice? Um, but I did look at the banding kit. There's an idea, but... John should have a loon costume on. You did it, Tracy. Hey, let me know if I'm going to be on a documentary or something. Okay. okay. You know what I mean? <laughs>